have you seen uh, uh, what the guy looks like? The guy who sings it, Tiny Tim? Who sings that Spongebob song? Oh no. Oh my god, dude. Okay, once you get to like a little bit of a safe place... Well, I mean, the armor's pretty dope, so it's not like they could do a lot, but um... I could give them a full hours long minute, and they wouldn't be able to kill me. Anyway, don't go down. Ah, oh, fuck you, make it quick. This is what he looks like. It was made in like the 50s. Looks like some fucking gay version of Weird Al. See what I mean? I'm so non-threatened by him. <laughs> A gay Weird Al, Tiny Tim. That that little xylophone at the end was like it was like you know when they play that on skeletons I can't believe you fucking made me watch that whole goddamn thing <laughs> it's only two minutes plus. I'm sorry but that was having a wonderful time that was a raw and unsettling experience in the moonlight in the sunshine having a wonderful time make it end <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's because he loves you. Did you not see those way the way those eyes were there? Those were fuck me eyes right there. Tiny Tim was asking you to get in his bussy. That guy's <laughs> name was really Tiny Tim for that, wasn't it? It's Tiny Tim. That's his name. That's his stage name. It's Tiny Tim. We're entering, like, a whole different world that I didn't want to know about right now. <laughs> yeah, guys, sorry, we went off script. <laughs> I can only handle so much. Yeah, Tiny Tim was uh, being a little bit... No! Naughty. <laughs> Please stop talking about this. You've been talking about it too much. All right, everyone is already going to do. I can see it in his face. He has to talk about it because he's been talking about it nonstop. Courage the cowardly dog, the weird ass guy that talks about being naughty while he shaves you. All right, Hunter, say whatever you need to say. Freaky Fred. Um, yeah, no, I just showed Jake after me, him and another friend were talking about Courage the Cowardly Dog. Uh, Freaky Fred from Courage the Cowardly Dog. He's this guy who always talks in rhymes, and he's like, I was ahead of times, I was behind of times, and I was feeling a little bit... And there's this long-ass pause, and then you hear... Naughty. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he talks about this hamster that he used to love, and you're like, holy shit, where's this going? Especially as an adult, you're like, is this a literal sociopath who's going to murder his own hamster? No, it's a thousand times worse. No, he just shaves them bare ass naked. Ooh, a little secret. Um, shaves them bare ass naked and is like, there you go. There you go. And then he shaves Courage a Cowardly Dog and um, pulls him out of a toilet. And he's like, Courage, you can't hide there. You're being naughty. I can find you anywhere, Courage. Yeah. And then he gets arrested at the end of the episode and... Uh, gets put into a psych ward, but that's I mean that's that, that's completely 100% real. Like this isn't gaslighting. He gets put into a psych ward. He's in a straight jacket at the end of the episode, and he's like, "Courage, I hope to see you again." And I'm so sorry I've been naughty. You're giving like an end of the explanation warning to people about how impossible it is to believe, but that that's all Courage the Cowardly Dog was. Was Dude, just unsettling stuff. You watch Courage, right? Yeah, Courage. it was supposed to teach kids be afraid all the time. No, shut up! Yeah, I know. I understand the true message of the show. It was the outside world beyond your actual home where you're perfectly not safe anyways is terrifying no matter what you do. Big business, flan, flan. getting your hair cut. It's all flan. just flan. an absolute flan. bastardization of humanity.
What was okay? What was one of the scariest things you've seen in in the, in it? Watch out for boom. I don't know the fucking blue infant. Oh, the you're not perfect episode. Yeah, dude. Where all anytime courage closes his eyes, you died. No. Anytime courage closes his eyes, he gets freaked out by this like weird blue thing in a tube, and it's just whispering, and it's got this creepy music. And courage, the cowardly dog during that time was mixing like really bad 3D animation with really good 2D animation, but the 3D animation made it unsettling. And it's this blue, like, disfigured fucking um, uh, King Star looking man. <laughs> and he's literally just, like, whispering, You're not perfect. And he's, like, swaying from side to side. It's the freakiest fucking thing, dude. And for some reason, because of your nightmare visions as a child, you imagine that there was a 20 second version of this or something, and you were searching for that for like a full minute until you realized, oh, I'm not gonna find this. But I, I was waiting this whole time to tell you that that footage doesn't exist. You're kind of just... No, there's more to that episode. No, oh, oh, you're you were looking for more to the episode. It seemed like you were looking specifically for more footage, as if no, because the blue thing shows up like two or three times to say you're not perfect, and then something else, and then something else, and then that's the same episode I think where the alligator comes out of the bathtub and he's like, "Courage, you're perfect just the way you are." And Courage is like, "Thanks, alligator bathtub man." <laughs> I, this is all real. I believe every word of it, but it's still so stupid to hear explained. Yes, it may be stupid, but it's real. Give me. Like, there's more to that episode, and the whole episode I think is this called. Way I wanted to go. No. All right, good. Uh, it's called "You're Not Perfect." Um, I I mean, yeah. Anyone can look that shit so up. Courage the cowardly dog, you're not perfect. You can drop. I can drop here? Okay. Yeah, 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 this is where you want to go. Oh, no, back. Then to your left. Straight. To your left again. And then to your right. Whee! Um, yeah, dude, Courage the cowardly dog was just fucked up and every sense of the word. Oh, do you think if you do flame toss in there before he does, you can blow up the, the guy? Maybe. I always like, forget I have magic. If you free aim, like right now? Yeah. I don't think there's a barrel close enough to him. Those, that whole, the, the band of barrels. Oh, there is no barrel next to Alright, well I guess sword him up. Charge! Run! Run! Why- why are you attacking? I'm rolling! That dark souls, demon souls, lag. Just slash him, dude. Just slash him. Thank you again for whoever gave us the sword. Yeah. That fucking guy. Whose name has been Ooh. down here every time we talk about him. You've got new legs. I've got new legs? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you're talking about the official's legs. <laughs> Those aren't legs. Yeah, I'm dumb as shit. All right. That's so gross to look at. <laughs> that is so unbelievably nasty. There's nothing better feeling than wearing a fat man's leg. Ew. 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 Oh, hey, buddy. Ooh. My brother. I'll have to murder you now. You've betrayed Oompa Land and their people. Or sorry, Loompa Land and their people. The Oompas. Are, are you speaking for him? Yeah, I'm speaking as Oompa Loompa. The, the fucking gremlin? The former Oompa Loompa? No, I'm speaking as Doompa Loompa. He's got that real bassy, strong voice. Oh yeah, I guess. Go with that ram. Get the item. Get the item. Get the item. 
You know, remember, kid, Soul Arrow is effective against this spider. Thank you for telling me. I probably wouldn't have remembered that. Yeah, if you use Flame Toss, you're gonna do like five damage. No, I probably just would have used the fucking cloak. Should we show these people how to cheese the boss? How do you cheese the boss? Do you have black pepper? Mm, maybe. Check if you have black pepper. But you can do a good amount of, of damage just with Soul Arrow. Um, no black pepper. Okay, you can still do a good amount of damage. Yeah. The controller has been passed over, so if I die, it's my fault. <laughs> 